Hi, I'm Brad, and I finally got some rest. Yet there is no sleep for the wicked, and yesterday was an insane day. I don't know if you guys were paying attention to all the social media and just the madness going on in the VR industry. Ton of announcements for game software, uh, upcoming games, upcoming events to announce games, the Oculus Game Showcase, it was just madness. But all of that is nothing compared to what happened next. Valve had another Steam VR beta update. Well, two of them. There was one that broke VR chat bindings for index controllers for a couple hours, and that one's more important, they fixed that. And there was something very big in that beta, despite me making a almost 20 minute video yesterday about a beta that came out on Monday. That was crazy right now. So only in the Windows strings in the Lighthouse drivers file in SteamVR, there was a brand new reference to a brand new version of the Valve Deckard VR HMD head mounted display. It was one of those moments where I went to bed seeing that and then when I woke up it was one of those things where I was like did I just dream that happened because there are times where I do have these dreams of things happening and then I wake up realizing oh you are obsessed you need help. <laughs> but yeah the new version is called Deckard Mini D. This is a very different naming scheme than the previous versions we have leaked in the uh, Lighthouse driver strings. I'm going to give my opinion of what it means, but first I want to explain what that part of the driver really means. So in the Lighthouse driver where this section is, where these strings have been leaking, this is basically the USB interfacing with the headset, and the headset's sending data to the Steam VR or the computer it's plugged into saying, hey, this is my moniker, this is what I am, please load all these files for me. So when you see headsets that are upcoming or maybe from the past prototypes, including like Valve's very first headset from way early 2010s, you should just know it is a headset and not a processing unit for a headset. Last year in January 2021, POCA came out, which probably stands for proof of concept. And then in June, POCC came out, which obviously is likely an iteration from A to C, and they skipped B, or at least B was not ever publicized in the files. But now fast forward all the way to now. We are literally about to be April 1st, almost April Fool's Day. I'm so glad they didn't do this on April Fool's Day. And now we have Deckard Mini D. So originally, I, the first thought when I saw this is like, oh, it must have something to do with Mini DisplayPort, right? Well, that is probably 100% unlikely. Mini DisplayPort is pretty much a kind of dead standard. Um, DisplayPort is probably going to be the standard used for the cabled version of Deckard, but it would probably be around DisplayPort 2.0. Mini DisplayPort only supports up to 1.2, which was fine for the original index, but not really fine for the kind of high resolutions and data throughput that you'll need for some of these next generation devices. When me and a lot of people got together to speculate in the current overall speculation, and I, I would love your input if you don't agree with this and think it might be something else, but we think that there might have been a proof of concept D at one point that never made it into the files. But Mini D is a revision where they're taking that proof of concept D, they liked it very much, and they're going toward the next steps to bring that proof of concept D to the market whenever that happens. That's basically the point of proof of concepts to begin with. You test all the, the specifications, all the uh, components to see that it could work. And then after you find one that works and is proven, the, the concept is proven, then you work to actually get that into manufacturing. And that requires revisions. But Valve hasn't been just working on the hardware. If you've been following my channel for at least the past year almost, you'll see that they've been updating SteamVR in parallel with all the prototypes they've been making. Setting up all the systems for when the actual headset came out, SteamVR would be ready to support it. I mean, we're talking about brand new systems that no other headset will be able to support. So they are working very hard in Valve offices to ensure that this headset will be an amazing experience when it comes out. Now, I don't want to spend too much more time talking about it, but I am planning to do a live stream tomorrow, a Q&A stream. I usually do these once a month. And I want to talk about everything that happened this week. Monday was Microsoft, Tuesday was Metacambria, and Wednesday was SteamVR, and then Thursday was, well, actually, Wednesday again. It wasn't, today's Thursday. Wednesday again was Omega SteamVR, we'll call it. If something else happens later this week with PSVR 2, I think I'm just gonna fall from a roof or something. Ugh. 
Anyway, that's it. Please uh, visit bradsmells.com slash Patreon. And um, thank you so much for all your support. And thank you to all my mega supporters who give me $25 plus just so you can have your name up there. You people are crazy. <laughs> crazy. <laughs>